I'm just stabbing myself in the face. I really, really like this. The lightest sunscreen ever. I don't think it is. I'm so glad there is a product like this. Hey, these are making me very excited. Hello and welcome. Hi, I'm Satya. Welcome to my YouTube channel and also to one of my favorite series on this channel, which is trying hype products. I'm so glad you guys also love it because I love trying new things and I love talking about it after I try it because I feel like you know i'm talking to my friends like oh i tried this, this is really nice i tried this it was not nice and all of this is a non-sponsored so if you have been looking for someone to try out these products and it's in your cart and you don't know whether you should buy it or not i hope this video will help you make a better informed decision so if this part of the video is being included in this whole video then that means this video has come out after i have given birth yes i am currently uh huh, i am nine months pregnant and uh, I made a promise to myself that I wouldn't talk about the pregnancy until after the baby comes out. Um, I'll go into the reasons in another video but I know that whenever I make a video people obviously my face has changed, it's become chubbier and everybody keeps <laughs> commenting about that and not about the actual video whatever video I'm making so I didn't want to distract from it so let's get into it. Hello! thing is this wish care invisible gel sunscreen now wish care had sent me a whole pr package with a lot of their products to try and i was quite excited to try this because you guys know i love sunscreens and i love gel sunscreens because i have oily skin and this says it's sun protection with no white cast suitable for oily dry combination and sensitive skin and i was like wow like ticks all the boxes right and i'd also seen a lot of videos of people saying this is the lightest sunscreen i've ever tried it's amazing it's all of these things so i was like super excited to try it however uh as you can see oops it looks quite thick it looks quite creamy when you apply it to your skin it is true there is no white cast to it but it doesn't feel like a gel sunscreen it feels like a cream sunscreen um it leaves your skin looking yes very glowy but also if like me, you live in a humid place and you have oily skin or you're prone to sweat. I feel like it makes me sweat more. For those reasons, I don't like this. But I know that if I were to go to Delhi or Bangalore, for example, places with drier climate, then this would be perfect for me. So I don't have any complaints about the sunscreen itself. But just in terms of the lightest sunscreen ever, I don't think it is. Um, there are other ones like Sunscoop. Requal, those are found to be far lighter on the skin than this one. But their sunscreen body lotion is another story. It is really nice and light. Okay, I'm just going to put this on my hand to show you the texture. It looks thick, right? It looks thick, it looks creamy, but it melts into the skin so beautifully. It's got a very light, pleasant smell, not very strong smell. It smells like, like a, I don't know how to put this, but it smells like a little kid, like, you know, like, Johnson's type smell like it smells very pleasant and very nice it does not leave your skin feeling oily it has like that dry matte touch on your skin probably could be because my skin on my body is drier than it is on my face and so this suits me very well I love that it has a pump so it's very easy to just squirt 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 it on your hand easily apply and like you're done with it super fast no white cast whatsoever like see I just love it. It absorbs so well into my skin and it is like, <laughs> yeah, I really like it. Staying on the topic of sunscreen, this is the Har Koi Mineral Matte Tinted Sunscreen. Uh, it is a primer, a mineral sunscreen plus a sheer tint. It says minimal white cast, sheer to no coverage with phytosqualine and vitamin E. I got this scent as a PR package and I found that my shade is shade number two this is what it looks like honestly when i first saw it i thought it's going to be really thick and goopy on the skin it looked very heavy and you know i like very lightweight stuff so i was very pleasantly surprised by this one i love love how the way it feels on my skin it has a very matte finish which is great if you are someone with oily skin or you sweat a lot uh it gives you like very minimal to light coverage it just evens out your skin tone really well and it's not heavy it doesn't it feels like i have nothing on my face it's very very lightweight i'm honestly 
quite impressed with this product and it's like it's okay i'll tell you it's like adding a bb cream a moisturizer and a sunscreen all in one and it just it makes your skin feel so good like i can't stop touching my face and yeah it's <laughs> they have other shades also they sent it to me in their pr package if you are confused about your shade they have like um on their website they have like a sampler kit they would look like this so they have up to eight shades and it goes like pretty dark as well so if you are someone like me who that's like too many products or if you're a very busy person and you just want to quickly like touch up and get out of the house this is perfect like i yeah i really like this now to take all of that off uh you need to double cleanse especially with sunscreen just face wash doesn't break it down and remove it off your face you need a cleansing balm and i've seen that everybody uses that clinic take the day away cleansing balm but i actually really like this one by true frog i actually reviewed this i think two years ago i have this i link the video you can check it out this cleansing gel is really nice it again like comes out like an oil you just rub it all over your face and this has been great in removing like you know i love my long lasting <laughs> lipsticks right it's been great at even removing that so i really like it it's very convenient as you can see it's almost completely over true frog uh, i remember even my sister loves their sleeping masks she lives in the us so when um, i was sending stuff for her she asked me to get two tubs of it because she loves their sleeping mask she has drier skin than me so that suits her really really well so you can check it out again it's like an indian brand they do good stuff you can check them out okay i really want to talk about this product you know you've seen a lot about color correction online right and me like an idiot i went and bought the la girl color correct that yellow one then that orange one and they are like 400 500 rupees each and i found them to be very very thick on the skin it made me look <laughs> all those videos will tell you you're doing color correction wrong that was me cuz i used to mess it up so badly especially for people with brown skin you have different tones all over your face it's not like the american skin tone where you can just do one color for color correction and then you're done right you have like your gray here your red here your darker brown somewhere here so this has been the most paisa vasool product i have used i got this on nykaa it's the inside pro conceal palette conceal correct contour so good it has all the colors it has your purple orange green chish brown a darker brown for contouring a yellow so depending on what colors you need to figure out on your face you can just use it i just put my finger like this like this and i just use it to color correct my under eye circles and other parts of my face that need to be evened out but seriously instead of buying 5 6 tubes of la girl color corrector spending so much money just buy one of this and you will be set like I'm so glad there is a product like this. Hundred on hundred recommend this. Continuing with the face, this is the Har Koi Lip and Cheek Tint in the shade Feminine Pink. This is the first time that I'm going to be using this actually, so you're going to get my genuine raw opinion. Okay, it has a little applicator like this. Okay, extremely lightweight. Oh, it's actually quite pretty. it's not as pigmented as the rare beauty stuff which i'm really glad because that always leaves me looking like a clown now and i use it so rarely it's actually quite buildable and it's a very pretty color it's not too slippery or oily it's actually quite matte and i feel like it's giving like a very natural kind of blush look okay, one thing i notice is that a lot of product doesn't come on the applicator it's quite little actually which i don't mind let's try it out you know the outer cover looks quite dark pink but this is looking quite coral okay this is actually pretty lightweight and pretty it feels like nothing on the lips it's a pretty tint it reminds me of those korean tints like peripera it's still very like not drying on the lips at all i like it my only problem is sorry my camera died but uh my only issue is i thought the packaging looks like this so i thought it would be a little purplish pink like this rare beauty one but turns out it's very much like a coral which is like the rare beauty joy one but i really like the way it looks on my skin um it's not 
overly pigmented uh, i'm not scared of looking like a clown it looks great even on pigmented lips it gives a nice natural flush of color i'm liking this i have many other shades also all of this was sent to me in pr let me know if you want me to swatch it um to show you the different shades because formula wise it's pretty nice yeah let me know if you want to see this but yeah pretty good i like it i have three lip liners with me i don't know i i don't think i've ever shown lip liners before uh and i've only recently started using them because i just used to apply lipstick like that only but i've realized that um adding a lip liner can make your lips more defined and make it also neater if you're in a hurry you just color it inside so let's start with the k beauty lip liner i know a lot of you love k beauty they make really good products which are very affordable but this lip liner really disappointed me because it is so dry like i have to like really draw and even when i press and draw it's like a crayon almost it's not buttery it's not smooth if i try to put it on my lips it's a pain i'm just stabbing myself in the face i am very disappointed with this but i found two other lip liners that are slightly better in terms of formula i really like this kiro beauty one I had it for a while now and so all the marking has gone off but it is very smooth it's like butter and the color is so pigmented the only mistake i made was i got it in a color that <laughs> was completely too light for me um this was i think one of the first lip liners i got and i thought it was just meant i didn't know about the it should be a darker shade and then inside you fill it in and all that jazz i didn't know but love it for its formula and next time in india i will definitely buy like a darker shade went on super smoothly but the color is just way too light another lip liner that i quite like is this sephora lip liner um i got it here in singapore this is also quite smooth This is usually my go-to lip liner right now. It goes really well with all the peaches, the pinks and the reds that I usually wear and um, very easy to use. So, I really like it and I think I got the mini one, but um I'm sure in terms of price the Kiro one is more affordable. But actually, the best 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 lip liner I own is this one by Kylie Beauty. I've made a video short about it also about how the liquid lipstick is so trans like spreads everywhere but this is such a beauty i got this in the us i don't think i've had anything else that has been this buttery and this smooth the way it glides on the color is so pigmented it's so soft and you know you if you like to do that smudging inside to your lips um blends beautifully i absolutely love it but the liquid lipstick of kylie sucks so don't get that but get this totally worth it a lip balm that i wanted to show you is the wish care ceramide lip balm it's a very simple basic lip balm it's very no nonsense it moisturizes your lips it leaves a nice pink tint i think it's it's a very practical lip balm and i can see a lot of people especially like those of you in college or in school and stuff like using this a lot because it moisturizes the lips pretty well wow this is just lip liner and lip balm i am still shook okay Nice. I thought I was going to put another lipstick on top. But nice. Not too sticky, not too wet or glossy. It's just goes on your lips so smoothly and it's very like like I said like very no nonsense. You can wear it keep applying it through the day. I really like it. And it smells nice also. I also have this variant in the um unscented shade which is the clear one and I just keep applying it through the day if I feel like my lips are quite dry and It works well. I'm going to go in with the Vinyl Irresistible. Love the Vinyl series. I like this shade also. It's brilliant. Like I love it. It's long lasting. It's glossy. It's not too drying. That's it. Wow. I really like this lip combination. <laughs> okay, still shook, but let's get on with the rest of the video. Next, we go to the eyes. Okay, so this product called Northern Lights in a Pan by Mars. I love this. This was actually recommended. I saw a reel on Instagram by Vasuki Makeup. I will put her tag down here. You follow her because she has great recommendations. Okay, look at that color. That purple is gorgeous. 
but also the fact that it is two tone okay i don't know if you can see it has some green to it it is so creamy it is so pigmented i am not usually a eyeshadow person but i love this color so much let me just apply it on my eye and i've added this is just like one shade if i put it with a proper brush and stuff oh do you see that and this is very light okay i think for new years also i apply this i'll put a picture it was super easy to use if you are a makeup newbie like me you want like a one eyeshadow to just glam up sometimes check this out it's beautiful now moving on to some more of the eyes you know i love purple so i got this swiss beauty pop eye style low style liner this is actually recommended in the comment section of one of my earlier youtube videos and this is again like super affordable all of swiss beauty products they are known to be good quality but extremely affordable i don't know how they do it but uh this one <sighs> this one i did not like it so much because it's quite thin you can see that it's quite sheer it's quite light it is not as electric purple as i imagined i have to go in two three layers uh for it to actually show up so i didn't quite like this for that reason yeah i am not a fan i know for the price point it's really good if you are a student on a budget and you just want like some eyeliner this works well but i still think that the lacme one is much better it's far more pigmented okay one more thing i want to add about this swiss beauty one though i was like oh it's not pigmented enough it still lasted on my hand it's like incredibly long lasting maybe it doesn't look so good on the eye but look at it's it's like 4 hours after i filmed <laughs> wow i don't know what swiss beauty does in their products but everything else wiped off but this one is too good i have two more uh, liquid liners uh, this one again is by k beauty but this one i actually like this is a brown eyeliner I don't know how else to show you. Let me draw a stock for this. See the face; it doesn't look so great, but on the eye, it looks really nice. It, I really like this particular shade, Grunge Raisin. It gives you like I think, especially if you want to do like a fox eye, the nib is also like super, 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 super fine, which is great for. the finer details for the fox eye if you want to do it another alternative if you don't get k beauty if you're living abroad um is to get the sephora eyeliner this is in the shade 2 again a brown color okay what what can i draw on my face um okay let me draw bindi i again i love how pigmented this is uh the k beauty one is definitely cheaper than the sephora one in india so if you're in india get the k beauty one but if you live abroad and you have only access to this then get the sephora one compared to all the other eyeliners in sephora this is the cheapest fantastic i have three more eye products that i really like and especially if you're in a hurry these are really really useful this one by kiro beauty is so good this is the kiro long wear brightening eyeshadow stick with vitamin c mango seed oil it's in a peachy gold color it is so buttery smooth okay look at the color payoff super pigmented i love this so much especially when i'm in a hurry and i don't have time to do you know something elaborate just this elevates the eye look so well this color is gorgeous peachy gold especially for like festival season diwali or attending marriages where you have like a gold look oh I really really like this. Uh Kiro Beauty you are doing something really good with this. Sometimes I use it as a highlighter also. And I just blend it out. And I also like how thick it is because quickly you can draw on your face and you're done like no tension only. Highly approved. Love this. Two other products that also I really like and this is if you want a little more um thinner pencil but work pretty much the same way this is the maybelline tattoo studio i have one in the shade rose gold and one in the shade amethyst again purple because that's just how i roll this one is really good for the inner corners of your eyes and if you just want to line the waterline of your eye it's so good i love how shimmery and sparkly it is even though it's a phone camera you can see 
that it's shining right again a savior for you <laughs> quickly want to like put stuff and go and then of course the purple because purple personally for my upper lids i always like a black or a dark brown but if you are someone who usually puts a uh, kajal in your waterline and you look fantastic with it try this one also in purple it's quite nice this is so pretty what a pretty color of purple it has a really nice shimmer to it also it's quite like again for festivals music festivals <laughs> religious festivals whatever it is it's such a pretty color wow i'm actually liking this i usually don't line my eyes down because i feel like it doesn't suit me but i'm really liking this okay i never especially this i look with the gold on top the black liner and the purple like kajal i am feeling this i'm not a makeup content creator as you can see it's very immature sorry very amateur but I just like trying out stuff and I like sharing them with you and these are making me very excited and I love how makeup can suddenly make you feel like finally we come to hair care and I am currently loving this Wish Care Triple Bond um shampoo and booster serum I made an entire video about my hair care routine I will link it here and I'd mention these uh bond repair especially for people with colored hair or dry hair or damaged hair is so 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 good you feel like your hair becomes stronger you feel like it be looks healthier as well and this has really helped with that this is a great alternative to olaplex and olaplex you know is so much more expensive this is what 499 and this is 599 just one thing with bond repair is not to use it every day or every alternate day if that is when you wash your hair because then it can make your hair pretty heavy but for like once a week or once in two weeks this resets your hair so well it feels so good like your hair feels so soft and shiny after you wash it i really really like these two because it's really made a difference to my hair especially after i've bleached and colored it it's made my hair shiny healthy and this is just hair wash i've not blow dried or straightened my hair and hair feels good hair feels great this is great that brings me to the end of this video um sorry about the difference in the camera and the phone camera but i guess sometimes you also want to see what it looks like in phone camera natural light this is what it is i hope it was helpful if there are any other products you want me to try uh let me know in the comments because my parents are coming next month so i see all of your comments and then if it's something that you know a lot of people are asking for then i can just order it to my house in bangalore my parents can bring it and so i can try it uh for context i live in singapore so a lot of indian brand products like like k beauty and this uh wish care and har koi and all of them i don't get it here so i am really excited to try indian brand products because i think a lot of indian companies are doing really really well they're making products that suit our skin and our weather so well and at great prices like we don't have to spend bombs bomb in sephora or whatever nike your luxury etc to get good results and to feel good um i think you can get great results in other places as well so yeah i hope you have a fantastic week ahead and uh, that all goes well and i will see you in the next video bye